This is Hannibal here from the HannibalTV.com with a quick update for everyone that's been asking about the Mountie Jacques Rougeau, of course, three-time WWE Tag Team Champion, former WWE Intercontinental Ten Intercontinental Champion. Easy for me to say. He beat Hulk Hogan, beat Bret Hart, Quebec wrestling legend, but he's been having health issues. He was admitted into the hospital for a while. Then they released him, but they have brought him back in recently for a number of operations related to kidney, throat, and bladder issues. Uh, his first operation, which he had earlier this week, was a throat biopsy. Then they put a tube in his kidneys. Uh, then apparently they had to put a catheter in him for his bladder. And he, this makes it difficult for him to walk. Um, apparently they did take out a golf ball size obstruction from his bladder. So he's in less pain now, and he's he's able to sleep better. Next Friday, he's having a throat operation related to uh, his thyroid, where they're going to take a cancerous lump out of his throat that's about the size of a finger. And the doctors don't expect that he'll need chemotherapy or anything once that lump is out. Then the following Monday... <laughs> They're going to take the tube out of his penis. So he's going to have this tube in there for a while. Then he's going to be doing some autograph sessions the following weekend in uh, Morristown in Albany, New York, before having another big stone renew, removed from his kidney that's blocking his kidney. So he's had a lot of health issues. He wanted me to bring up that COVID was hard on him financially, not being able to do his comedy shows and all this health stuff hasn't been helping him. So his sons actually surprised him, all three of his sons, with uh, a large amount of money, not a massive amount of money, but a large amount of money to help him get through this situation. As For the people that want to see this, that's uh, the bag that's stuck to him now. That's a picture of him at the hospital. And he's out of the hospital now. He's, he's back home and he's feeling better. So he also wanted me to let people know that he received lots of messages on his Facebook. And he's very sensitive to messages. And he appreciates all the fans that have uh, contacted him around the world and uh, giving, him, giving him their well wishes. So with all he's been through this year, maybe WWE will, uh, will finally put him in the Hall of Fame next year. Uh, him and Raymond are back on speaking terms, and I believe Raymond and, and him are actually going to be driving to the, the New York autograph sessions together. As a lot of well wishes in the comments. I did do an interview, by the way, with Dr. D. David Schultz earlier today that people can check out. And I also posted a, a deep dive interview that John Paz and Vince Russo did on the Brawl for All, which Shock's partner, PCO, was actually in. He fought uh, Dr. Death Steve Williams on that. And I have a UFO coming up, UFO interview coming up at 8 p.m. Eastern with the uh, author and researcher Charles Upton. So thoughts and, and prayers with Jacques and, and he is on Facebook. If anyone wants to send him a message and he's starting his uh, wrestling Academy TV show in May as well. So let's hope he can uh, get through these health obstacles. He said the doctors are, have been working with his schedule to do these operations around his his wrestling bookings where he's doing autographs so he can still make money so good luck to him always appreciate uh his help with my, with my training because he played a role in training me so have a great night everybody hope you all had a good weekend thank you for watching the hannibal tv Please help me out and like this video, then click the subscribe and get notifications buttons so you don't miss any of my latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. 
Follow us on Facebook at The Hannibal TV for more live streams and videos. And 